every level, all in one place. Now, the Game Boy Guide gives you a detailed directory plus tips for over 130 games, like Super Mario Land and Tetris. Then, it's a bird, it's a frog. No, it's Mario. The third book explores his creation and history as he stomps his way to superstardom. And the fourth guide is all about the future, featuring ultra-hot new 16-bit games for the Super NES. Best of all, the guides are free, but this offer, get out of here, expires July 15th. If you'd like four free players' guides, plus 12 big issues of Nintendo Power for $15, call the number below. We're going to control! Ah! You are watching... Give me a C, a bouncy C! <laughs> Comedy Central! In the not-too-distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss is getting like a soda shot him in the space. Gypsy, if you had your druthers, what would your name be? Stalker Chin. Stalker oh. Chin. What? Oops. Oh. Well, looks like we're back on, everybody. Hey. Wow. Oh. Check it out. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. We're just talking about if we had our chance, what would our favorite new name be? Uh, Crow? My name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Servo, what do you want? Oh. It is better to commercial sign. I've always liked the name Magic, Magic Boy. Boy. Oh, I could oh, see that. Huh? huh? Anyway, Tom Servo? Well, personally, I've always been partial to Sugar Magnolia. Oh, sugar Magnolia. <laughs> commercial sign in 5, 4, 3, 2, commercial sign now. And from now on, I'll be known as Chuck Woolery. We'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. And now, a very quick Comedy Central quiz. What's frequently funny looking, occasionally loud, and full of ridiculous observations and or questions? What? What? what are you laughing at? You'll find the answer to these questions and more on Stand Up, Stand Up. Funny! Funny! An entire half hour of only the funniest stand-up comedy clip from legendary greats, young up-and-comers, big-time superstars. Stand Up! Stand Up, Stand Up. Weeknights at 9 at Comedy Central. It was a time of tyrants. A time when the only way to uphold justice was to break the law. A time that made a hero into a legend. Kevin Costner is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, June 14th at a theater near you. Okay, uh, okay. Joel. Yeah, cool, Joel. buddy. W would it be okay if I change my name to Alan Parsons Project? They call me Mr. Tibbs. This is Richard Benson. This is Richard Benson. <laughs> that's it. That's it. From now on, all bets are off. From now on, we go back to the old names for the rest of the experiments. The mads are calling. You know, Clay, when you come right down to it, I think I'd like to be known as just Frank. Why is that? Because if you can't find peace within... Oh, shut up! I went to... along with you long enough. This Mike Douglas furniture was a terrible idea. Don't I get to be your co-host for the week? No, and you don't get to sing The Man in My Little Girl's Life, either. 
Oh, hello, Booby. How did you fare going through the asteroid belt? Jeepers, don't remind me. Oh, well, my invention exchange this week is... Wait for it. Wait for it. Daddy, there's a boy outside. His name is Shut Tom. Shut up. Now. Everybody knows smoking kills, but it's cool. What are you going to do? Everybody loves tar. Sure, who doesn't? But scientists have known for well over a year that it's bad for you. So, when you go into a restaurant and they ask you for smoking or non-smoking, do what I do. <laughs> hey, it's a smoking jacket. Ah, Get cool. it? Cool. Like father, like son. Think about it, won't you? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, here it is, Dimples. The latest craze, robotic arm wrestling. This week, Joel, is a bit of a break for you. Uh, it's, uh, I haven't seen the whole thing, but it's uh, kind of a buddy picture. I've, I've seen the opening credits, and it looks to be like a modern-day Defiant Ones. Uh, isn't that right, Frank? I think you're going to like it. It's a little thing we like to call cave dwellers. Frank! Enjoy it while it lasts, Astro Boy Toy. <laughs> in a shoebox format here. Yeah. Neat. <sighs> How much Keith is in this movie anyway? Miles O'Keefe. <laughs> hey, now look here. You can actually see the driver turn and shoot Kennedy. <laughs> on the... Cave Dwellers, wasn't he? In, uh, uh, cave, cave Dwellers. Um, oh. It's the name of the movie. I'm guessing. Hey, Jodie Foster's sister. I'd shoot Donald Regan to prove my love for Lisa Foster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh -huh. yeah. see it. Hmm. Boromel, the thorough but gentle accident. <laughs> oh. Hey, isn't this a scene from Brian's song? Yeah, that's uh, Billy D. Williams and James Kahn. Oh. I love Brian Piccolo. When you hit your knees tonight, ask God to love him too. Thanks. Hey, bro, let's go get a brew. Come on. David Kane Houghton. Wasn't he an assassin? No, you're thinking of Lee Harvey Oswald. No, it was James Earl Ray. Oh, no, Mark David Chapman. And John Wilkes Booth. No, it was Arthur Bremer. Huh? Arthur Bremer. Oh. Oh. Okay. Director of the top half of the photography. There it is. Wow, a lot going on back there. You guys should check it out. Hey, look, uh, Rasta chili. That's good with a little pesto sauce and some sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> look Jolly at those thing. poor bastards. Ridiculous. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! That was over there. Oh. Turning the page in the. Hey, John Newman, we can put his spaghetti sauce on the rastacelli. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. The hills have eyes, but they have glaucoma right now. <laughs> Close, friend. This week on Cave Dwellers. Uh, I'm grinding the basil, uh, adding some Romano cheese. Mmm, mm, grog tastes good. Hey, it's a cast party for cats. <laughs> it's Betty Buckley, and she's eating Dick Van Patten. Mmm, <laughs> little stringy. You know, you can eat off the floor of this cave. In fact, they're doing it right now. After the fiery, chaotic creation of the Earth, 
in the turbulent period of man's ascendancy. Hey, who's talking? Our world is populated by wild, cruel, and ignorant men. Oh, you mean the 80s. But there are still a few who seem to have been touched by some higher power. And they're in and AA now. And bravery. Hey, get out of the fire. From the savage world. But their table manners needed work. Playing the center spear, Og. Playing defensive backup, Oog. And at right hunchback, it's Org. Dum, 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 Hey, there's a model that's outside. Yeah, everybody's evolving and stuff. It's really neat. Hey, Grog just threw a bone in the air and it turned into a spaceship. Come on, Crow Magnum. Neanderthal. How's little pit that gets that for cannons? Come on, get in the line, get in the line. The Time Life photographer is here. <laughs> Hey, it's the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Ooh. Hey, how can they tell who's side, who's on whose side? Oh, uh, shirts and skins. Oh. Skins. Eat it, boy, eat it. Ooh. Oh, it's the man who invented the wedgie. Isn't that nice? It's an early version of West Side Story. Uh, I just met a girl named uh. Stately Wayne Manor. Wow, it's Barbie Benton. Yeah, we're all out of Vivian. You called me, Father. Are you still here? What's the matter? Um, I'm all out of blue stuff. I've never seen you looking so worried. Or so ashamed. Last night, I had a strange dream. About a chick in a black bikini. It troubled me greatly. Human knowledge, even in its most exalted form, uh -huh. is nothing against fate. <laughs> Come over here, my dear. Where the camera moved to. Something over I here. must do. Hey. Father, dear, you've always shared your knowledge and inventions with me. Is there something you've discovered that you've been hiding from me? I've always wanted you to be wise. Well, we'll settle on that. But books. remember that imagination is as important as knowledge. Hmm? Yes, imagination. Oh. And this you possess hmm. by nature. Hmm. The next most important thing is peanut butter. But oh, this yeah. man learns only with the passage of time. Slower than you. I've waited until now to show you my discovery. A rearview mirror? Stronger than dirt. It is everything and nothing. Uh, could you be a little more vague, please? And death. Uh -huh. Goodness. Riches. And badness. Poverty. And evil. It's boss. Need. It all depends on man. What are man's options? What man does with it. Oh. Okay. Then it might. <laughs> might be a weapon. Exactly. Mm. And like all weapons, it must be kept away from ambitious men. And Nazis. But, Father, how can I say No, this? daughter, your hands are too weak. You'll get fingerprints all over it. Thor's thirst for power is too strong. He's spreading south with his henchmen. I, know. I see myself in there. But he would never dare to enter our territory. I wonder if it's worth the risk of counting on that. Or the risk of acting. But, Father, you taught me that science is always a risk. Ah, but a man of science takes a calculated risk. Mm, what a science is only a means. One of many. Take There's it. also fan dancing. Mm. What do you, the viewers at home, think? I am now too old for so great a responsibility. And for such flashy jewelry. Whoa. What do you intend doing? To protect a thing of such great import. Tense. There is only one man. Ator. But he's a baby. Ator is the son of Tor. Oh, mm -hmm. He was born during the tenebrous era of the Spider Kingdom. Wow, everybody did drugs then, I guess. The oh. of Dakar and his Spotted High Priest were sent out. To These must be Ator's home movies. Yep. The former High Priest carried off the infant Ator. Uh -huh. uh, this is the part of the film we like to call She Had to Ask. Uh -huh. Yep. Who constantly scoured the land uh -huh. like the land. Uh -huh. victim of the spider god. Uh -huh. Spider god. Uh -huh. Sweeping down upon the village was not born, now yeah. a young man. Uh -huh. yeah. The black knights badly wounded him Ooh. and carried off Sunya, his young bride. Getting all this? Hey. Whoa. 
Ator nursed his wounds. I nursed the Scotch. He to rescue Thumia and crush the iron-handed rule of Dakar. Who? Griba. Son of Flogmar, keeper of the seven keys of Ventusler. Encouraged Ator and taught him the martial art. And Marshal Crenshaw. Marshal Tucker. Things are moving real fast. Ooh. Yeah. Enjoy it while Hey, Gene Kasem. When Arthur was deemed ready to set out on his mission, Griba revealed the youth's nice. noble heritage and consigned to him the sword of Turin. No, the shroud of Turin. Only Arthur Jeez, Jeez Tolkien part. couldn't follow this plot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't have dwarves. The judges let these people walk because they haven't got circumcising evidence. Hear more straight talk from Norm Crosby on The Big Room, Sunday at 8.30, here at Comedy Central. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. Most of us spend our lives looking out for number one, trying to get more for ourselves and our families, and that's okay to a point. But if you want to do something truly wonderful, do this. Give life to your driver's license by checking yes to organ and tissue donation. Or sign an organ donor card from the National Kidney Foundation. And one more thing. Please tell your family about your decision. Organ donation is the gift of life. I'm Bob Knoll. My official title is Head of Auto Testing for Consumer Reports Magazine. But I really work for you. And there are over 200 people who work for you at Consumer Reports. We test and report on everything from toothpaste to TVs. Right now is a good time to try Consumer Reports because you can get a free trial issue with no strings attached. Here are the details. Call now for your free trial issue of Consumer Reports, the magazine that gives you all the pros and cons of a product, including price. Call now for your free trial issue, then decide. When the bill arrives, pay it and get 11 more issues, 12 in all, including the annual buying guide issue, for just $20. Or write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. And with your paid subscription, you'll get two free books, our 1991 buying guide issue and the updated New Medicine Show. So put Consumer Reports to work for you. Call now. Call now for Consumer Reports. Call 1-800-726-6000. 1-800-726-6000. It's the Wango Zitango! Get down. Before Ator could conquer the Spider Kingdom, he came under the spell of the beautiful witch Edu. Ooh, share at the funhouse. Thousand-year-old enchantress. Yeah. Who called forth a horrible army of walking dead. Or slaves. It's the epic movie. Yeah. Ooh, how graphic. Wow. Ator is... Check me out, I'm not half bad. Captured the glistening charm shield of Murdor and the secret decoder ring. Oh, come on, those moon boots went out in the 70s. At last, Archor confronted Dakar, played by Tommy Chong. Some deformed warriors in a battle to the death. Oh, he's been gone. Oh. Aided by the incredibly potent shield of Murdor. <laughs> and it's Ador reprised inside. Then had to kill Griba, who had revealed his evil designs for obtaining power by using Arthur as his pawn. Then he broke for a After rescuing Sunya, Arthur faced the immense hideous spider itself Me. and plunged the sword of Torin into the grisly creature's body. He'd never killed uh, that big a puppet before. The when the spider god was killed, the forces of blackest evil were uh, unleashed. Objects in shield the great are smaller the than they have seen. Forced its molten magma in anger. Then he worked out on the charismatic solo flex of Zontar 13. Uh, uh. Now rest. You've deserved it. <laughs> Later, when Sunya died, Ator retired to the Eastern Land, where he lives in the company of Thorn, an Oriental warrior and sage. Played here by Jimmy Carroll Black of the Mothers of Invention. <sighs> Ooh, I hate that. That's enough for now, Tom. Uh, scratching, that is. You know, that exercise works. You were right. I can feel it here. Wait, where's my shirt? The muscles are stronger. Yeah. Who's that? 
Exercises. Whew. Align the vertebrae and release. Break. Shake it out. There. <sighs> that ought to do. Now, where was I? Oh. Uh, charm shield, incredibly potent. Father. Oh, yes, my dear. Tell me. Again? No! 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 <sighs> All right. Daughter. You know you're the only person oh, who would that. recognize the urgency of my call. <laughs> but I can't leave you at a time like this. During a flashback? Oh, Here, yeah, you will find with the passing of time that you can't always have what you want. But if you try some time, you just might find you get what you need. But you're the only one I have. You in the dark. My dear Mila. Dear. You don't have to worry about Dear. my safety. A sly old fox like me knows how to take care of himself. These are things a man has to learn. Quit shaking me, Dad. That goes on, repeating, for the rest of life. Unfortunate. What? Stately Wayne Manor. What's Wayne Manor? Oh, that's where Batman lived before he uh, became the Dark Knight in those comic books. Oh, they're not comic books. They're graphic novels. Oh, come oh. on. Music by the Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> What <laughs> pushing back there? Keep your swords down. You're inside now. That city's supposed to be around here somewhere. Let's see. Follow me. We are. Uh, we're trying. Which? Oh, that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Run outside and see what the trouble is. But you... Go, I told you. Huh? Later. Later. Well, better 86 to hooch. Oh, that little nip won't hurt. Use the handrails. Safety on the stairway. Hey, wait for me. Me too. Hey, wait up. Hey, I found some funny wet clay. It's raining men, hallelujah. Dad, tell me another story. It's here. I should have realized the time was so close. I've read the script. You must ride due east and try to reach Ator. The road's long and hard, but you cannot escape. <laughs> when you seem to have reached the ends of the earth, Ask for Earl. It seems that nature herself declines to accompany you any further on your journey. Then you'll have reached the domain of Ottawa. Canada? How can you ask me to do this now? It is not for myself that I ask, Mila, but for the welfare of all mankind. Go. Take a sweater and be back by ten. Hi. Hey! That's my spice rack! Oh. Dad? Oh, How dare you lay hands on him, you mangy dogs? All of you put together are not worth this man's little finger. And I meet them from the bottom of my heart. Out! that hat has a slimming effect on you? I thought. But among your many virtues, the first I find was forgiveness. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps I've not yet quite acquired total control oh. over myself. Come. They're only petty soldiers. They can't approach 
your exalted level. Oh, thanks, but now's no time to kiss Life up. Kind of all levels are the same. Really? For my own part, I fail to see why during life... Uh-huh. We yeah. create artificial distinctions among ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because all men are born equal. Oh, let me get a pencil. I want to write that Listen one down. That makes me sick. I become more and more certain that my little visit here mm -hmm. is fully justified and will be extremely profitable. You can write it off on your taxes. Do you imply mm -hmm. that you are a conqueror mm -hmm. who claims the spoils of victory? Or are you a common thief? Oh, geez, this has more pauses than a pinter play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, observational humor. God, I love Seinfeld. Oh, we got to go. Out of here. Uh. Chase me. Let's just say I'm an unexpected. <laughs> Too tight. Oh, 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 I don't know, Joel. I don't think this is for me. Oops, I lost it. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? You look fantastic. I could eat you up. Oh, and I could bite that big toe. Ooh. Hey, now, quit clowning. You know, what we're going to do is a little more lucid version of those really bad uh, openings we saw, the credits, oh, you know? Yeah. Hey, that is if Cambot will man the wall of keyboard. What do you say? Okay. Hey, right, will you give great. us that half screen uh, posterization effect, too, Cambot? Now, uh, there Joel, we go. Uh, what are we supposed to do again? Cool. Well, all you do is we play the characters we talked about earlier, and we run around and stuff. All yeah. right, got it. Frolic, cavort, parade, get about the ship, that sort yeah. of thing. Uh, Joel? Yeah? Isn't this kind of fruity? Yeah, I never really thought about it that much. Joel, it is. Yep. Well, no matter. Anyway, uh, let's do it again. You ready, Cambot? Music. There we go. cleaners, more people choose Pine Sol. Pine Sol's got more active ingredients than the next leading brand. And Pine Sol disinfects better. It even kills staph germs. It's not really clean until it's Pine Solved. Everybody ready? Quiet on the set. Are we on yet? Yo, Power Fanatics, here's an incredible offer from Nintendo Power. Right now, when you subscribe to the hottest video magazine on Earth, you get four new players, guys, worth 60 bucks. Look at this. The NES game Atlas gives you complete maps of the hottest games ever. Every one up, every level, all in one place. Now, the Game Boy Guide gives you a detailed directory plus tips for over 130 games, like Super Mario Land and Tetris. Then, 
It's a bird. It's a frog. No, it's Mario. The third book explores his creation and history as he stomps his way to superstardom. And the fourth guide is all about the future, featuring ultra-hot new 16-bit games for the Super NES. Best of all, the guides are free, but this offer, get out of here, expires July 15th. If you'd like four free player's guides plus 12 big issues of Nintendo Power for $15, call the number below. We're losing control! Ah! This is an important message for U.S. veterans discharged after 1940. Whether you serve during peacetime or war, and are currently age 50 to 69, call this toll-free number now for free, no-obligation information about a veterans-only term life plan that costs just one dollar a week. These veterans life insurance benefits are guaranteed never to go down, and they are available at the guaranteed rate of just one dollar a week. There is no waiting period. Benefits are paid from the first day of coverage. Call this number now for free information about this dollar-a-week veterans-only life plan. Remember, only veterans, their spouses and widows, age 50 to 69, qualify for this offer. Term life insurance for one dollar a week. Don't wait. Call this toll-free number now for free information from Veterans Life Insurance Company. Golf, boxing, underwater hockey, shoot, score, Bakai, Bolster, Heyman, Sports Monster, 6.30 Eastern Saturday. I thought that was pretty fun. That was cool. <laughs> He's still looking for the end of the earth here. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. I gotta get to the ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ooh, she's in love. So the ends of the earth are this way. Thank you. You idiot. We don't even have a dough license. That way. Yeah. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Uh. Let me see. Uh, you were playing a Titleist, right? Yep. You got a rotten lie, let me tell you. <laughs> Daddy. Uh, uh, lady, can we have our arrow back? Lady. Oh, Mrs. Lady. Oh. <laughs> hey, why is she limping? Because she's got an arrow in her chest. Oh, I can see. Huh? One thing. Oh, Use what? the handrails. I invented them for a reason. Why? why did your daughter fly like an arrow straight towards the sun? Ooh, good metaphor. Of course, I could easily use torture to make you tell me, but that would be too simple. And too much fun. For our little game. Yes. I see. It's quite obvious that you're testing me. You want to verify my powers of deduction. Mm -hmm. Very well. Bring me the map. And bring me the head of Gallagher. <laughs> Welcome to Death Valley Days. The driver's either missing or he's dead. <laughs> made this in shop class. It's a litter opener. It's not perfect yet. A Mark 7 production. He doesn't give a tinker's damn about anything. Hey, did you just turn into an owl oh. and then back real fast? Maybe it was too hot. Mm. <laughs> it should be enough for now. We gotta wait until it's cold. That could take forever. Mm -hmm. oh, look out, it's wet there. I just mopped. Prepare everything. With pleasure, my liege. <laughs> hey, he's washing with lava. The soap? Oh, no, the real thing. Mm. <laughs> it's Marmaduke. Mm. 
All right, good. Okay, let's see. We've got the cow skin, the banana leaves, and the dog. That should be about everything. All we can do is pray, although we haven't thought of any gods yet. Well, it's up to the dog. No, Marmaduke, don't use the triple overhand stitch. Bad dog. I could be wrong, but this arrow might have something to do with her pain. Ah. What do you got? She's okay. Boy. Look at how primitive their wet naps were during the Dark Ages. Mm. Yeah, it's a pretty big hole. I might need another one of those. <laughs> Got the crazy idea, boss. Let's make a giant cigar out of her. Would, would you quit? The entire area is deserted. Barren. It's the best show tuned ever. It's brassy, sassy, it's a musical humdinger. Let's see, Grid Mulberg and Pano. Wait a minute. This is the Magna Carta. So now we have it. He was another pupil of yours, wasn't he? <laughs> As you can kind of see, impressed about I'm his well part in this film, isn't he? Many stories have grown up around this pupil of yours. I wish you'd grow up. But now the time has come for me to discover the man-child within. The truth of these stories. I pledge allegiance. It's really amazing. Hmm. Why, your knowledge of surgery surpasses even that of the great one. Oh, Jackie Gleason? Oh, I'm just what? tallying up your bill here. I'm ready to go now. No, you're not going. I'll decide when you're ready. Little Missy. Journey is long. Hmm. Once we start, there'll be no stopping. But I explained to you that my father is in great danger. Danger? How many is in danger? I understand the dangers that face all men. All men. The wise one is very strong very... and will resist. Strong. But his heart is weak. Heart is weak. That's the reason he sent me. Sent me. What do you think he's writing? The script? Yeah. Hmm. All right. But you must know this. Two plus two is five. I mean four. If you're too weak, we'll have to leave you behind. Well, thanks for the beer, Gomez. But first you must prove to us if you are the daughter of the Great One. If you can look forward and speak haltingly, you're in. Come with me. No, not you, her. Here she is. Too bad Gomez didn't get a speaking role here. Poor guy. Go in there. Oh, right. I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern college. The small one was dark with long hair. Now sing something from Painter Wagon. You're really the daughter of a Cronus. Cronus Quartet? Oh. Then you will know what to do. Okay. Next on Current Affair, Women Behind Bars. Hmm. Okay. Let's see now. There's a Super Bowl and half a peanut and a length of kite string and a carpenter saw. What would MacGyver do? Is this right? Mm. Mm -hmm. no. Wrong cold. Very cold. Freezing. Frigid. Freezing. Alaska. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> Getting warmer. Mm. Warm as toast. She made, uh... Very warm. She's making flash powder from her own fill. Oh, neat. Mm. What? Love, love, love. love. Do, do, do. They do 
do have a lot of product to burn off. Mm-hmm. I suppose she could have just tried the lock. All done? Uh, Gomez, don't pass in front of the actors. Please. When I left your father's castle, he told me that if ever the geometric nucleus could endanger the world's peace, huh? a messenger would come to me and prove his identity beyond a doubt. You owe me 50 bucks for the door. Let it go. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? My name is Alan King, comedian. Ever wonder how the comedy mind works? Science says it's open 24 hours, and he says not in a row. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, Joey. I don't know, kid. Go put on your own show. Well, who wants to see two comedians talking? Alan King, inside the comedy mind. Sunday at 8, here at Comedy Central. Aren't you tired of running to replace your pantyhose? Well, now there's no more runs. Guaranteed never to run, ever. The secret is Smart Nylon. It actually stops a run before it starts. Look, we'll run a nail file right down this leg. But these pantyhose are no more runs. Abuse them, bruise them. You're still able to use them. Not even this pot scourer can harm no more runs. Yet they're so sheer, it's like wearing silk. You get four pairs for only $19.95. If any pair ever runs, we'll replace it with two pairs free. Control Top now available. So use your credit card and call now. To order no more runs with our exclusive double indemnity guarantee, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-776-8200 or send check or money order to No More Runs Pantyhose, 4100 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Now there's Super Stitch, the amazing handheld cordless electric sewing machine for all your sewing needs. It's so easy to operate, yet it has the same features found on expensive bottles. Super Stitch is great for alterations. Repair a ripped seam or shorten trousers. Basting and stitching are a snap. You can actually shorten curtains and drapes right on the rod. So convenient, lightweight, Super Stitch lets you sew anywhere, anytime. It even works outdoors. Make fabulous fun costumes. Or create a brand new wardrobe for your doll. Compact yet powerful, Super Stitch has all these features. Over one million people already own Super Stitch. Now you can... And two, not for $49.95, but for the amazing value of $19.95. To order Super Stitch by credit card, call 1-800-328-2100. That's 1-800-328-2100. Or send $19.95 plus $5 shipping and handling to Super Stitch, Box 5555, New York, New York. Sorry, no CODs. Call 1-800-328-2100. What am I, chopped liver? Hey, cut that out. You're making me hungry. Satisfy your appetite with SCTV, weeknights at 1, here at Comedy Central. They say that thanks to your teaching, Atto have mastered the forces of nature. Well, my dear Acronos, let me introduce you to Sandor. You can call me Sandy. He represents, how shall I put it, the opposite of your pupil, Atto. Looks like uh, Willie Nelson, Sandor. doesn't he? Hmm. has mastered everything that lies outside and beyond the forces of nature. And he knows lies. He manipulates at will. Those forces which men believe uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. The occult. Oh, the IRS. Yes. What do you say to that? Many years ago. Oh, not no, another No, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's rough it's magic. Cool. For hi. Dear God, he's dull. Of course, any man who seeks knowledge and is wise should be willing. See if you can make him slow down, Joel. Who knows? Hey. I'm a hey, up there. Sir. So, yeah. As you can see, All right, Willie Nelson's a tough audience. Giving us the lesson in humility. Nevertheless, 
Hey, don't we make leather mugs at the Renaissance Festival? Oh, and yeah. you will see a flame of defiance. Say something. Why? Come on, take it. Yes, it is clearly there. Mm. And that's my only line. Sandro, there is someone I want you to oh. have eliminated. <laughs> what happened? Weird. Some crazy. By the way, at the end of the earth. Canada. Couldn't you find a more convenient place? And who is it, sire? Athor. Gesundheit. It's the chalice from the palace. And now you will witness the might of my power. Got a minute? Ooh, oh, oh. Things getting kind of weird. Say, I think your cape is fabulous. <laughs> oh, they're getting close to Ridley Scott now. I don't understand. We're not surprised. Aren't these guys employed by anybody? I think they're just tents wandering through the forest. Yeah. Hire a thug. Fog's starting to obscure the action. What action? Oh, well. Whose woods are these? I think I know. We'll watch these woods fill up with fog. fog. Uh, where's Mila? Who? Mila! Puma! She must be lost. I say it's foggy! Guys, this isn't funny. Guys! Mila! Puma? Ma, 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 Ma. Where are you? <clears throat> Did someone say Ator? Baking Mr. Ator. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. After exhausting every possibility, the men move on. Fred. Wilma? Barney? Echo? Did you hear that? Yes, sir. It's a tape. Come on. Quick, run with me, friend, towards the danger. Boy, I wonder how much it costs to heat this cave. Uh, oh, no. Uh -huh. huh? Interesting. Oh. Huh? They're invisible. <laughs> oh, man. I don't believe it. They were too cheap to hire villains in this one. Yep. Oh, come on. What is this, a Charlie Callis routine? Oh. Hey, why don't you pick on somebody of your own opacity, huh? <laughs> what is this, a heart video? Yeah. Uh -huh. They only show the fat one from the head up anymore. Hey. Sorry, a little... Dad? Dad? Guy. Play Misty for me. So, let's recap the action so far. Uh, nothing, really. Uh, you're right. Let's move on now. Dad? <laughs> hey, why do you keep hitting yourself? <laughs> Dork. Whoa! Now they're scarier. Whoa! Booga, 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 booga. I do this to my dog. It's really funny. No, they're not scary. They're just kind of goofy. Like shooting fish in a barrel, dong. A thong. Oh, no. Thong, just kill it. Don't play with it. Good boy. Man, don't they want their capes? No, they'd have invisible blood on them. Like what? Daddy. As long as we're here, can we stop over at the Gap and get some 501s? Huh? Oh, well, like, excuse me, have you seen uh, two guys with capes? Ew, grody Joe. <laughs> no, guy, I don't want to sample Giorgio. These oh, these must be the yeah. cave dwellers. That's right. 35 minutes into the film, and we're finally at the first plot point. Mm -hmm. Well, there's Sid Field. Hey, I hate Clinique. Really, I'm just looking. Huh? You go there. 
Mm. I'll go this way. We'll stay. Uh, no, no, no. It's walk softly and carry a large... No, drum. no. It's quickly walk and carry something big. No, I know. It speak softly and carry a... No, nah, you're uh, crazy. You walk swiftly and you carry... You carry, carry something. No, I know no, you no. carry you're something. You're walking and you walk... Whoa! Whoa! God, yeah. Thatch? Coppola? Dad? Ojibwa! Oh, Wait a minute! I invented a word! Oh. Hmm. Uh, rhubarb, caveman rhubarb, rhubarb. I am a noble savage. God, I hate Mondays. There's that great ham and organ sound. Oh, now we steal your hubcap. <laughs> Get lug wrench. Tuesdays are human sacrifice day at the Sizzler. Ah, Kai. Mm, barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, yeah. I think Tony Bennett left that in San Francisco. Ooh. Here. A little rare. Oh. I want a Barney Clark car. Mmm, something smells good. Hatred comes out of the hole, around the fire. Sees a shadow. Hey, it's Dr. Christian Barnard. Yeah. Was. Hey, instead of hey. Hey, you know, now this really is a heart video <laughs> with the thing. And... Huh? Uh, you say something, God? Oh, she got childproof cap. I've got a wonderful Grinchy idea. <laughs> hey, she already has a plate. She, she's self-serving. Well, speaking of serving, we gotta run. Let's go, guys. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, Whoa, yeah. oh it's just getting cool, too. Watch John Stewart and Patty Rossborough trim the fat and cut to the good parts on Short Attention Span Theater. Weekdays at 6, here at Comedy Central. If you're feeling a little unpopular because of a wart, try America's number one wart remedy, Compound W. It hates warts more than you do. A little cheddar makes a plain potato, mmm, scrumptious, but without the cheddar cheese. Uh, no thanks. So add a little cheddar cheese. Ooh, thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. I was putting in a lot of late hours at the office. The pressure was really getting to me. My doctor told me if I didn't get some exercise, I'd be a prime candidate for a heart attack. Nordic Track. I had a terrible time losing weight after my second baby, and dieting wasn't enough. I needed a way to burn more calories. Nordic Track. Nordic Track is the easy way for you to get in shape and feel your best. Nordic Track simulates cross-country skiing, the world's best aerobic exercise. So it's a great way to get in shape, manage stress, and help control weight. Unlike ordinary exercisers like bikes, treadmills, and stair climbers, which only work your lower body, Nordic Track provides a total body workout. It tones, develops, and conditions all the major muscles of your upper and lower body. And Nordic Track's patented flywheel design creates a smooth, non-jarring motion no other ski machine can match. Try Nordic Track in the convenience of your own home for 30 days. Call our toll-free number for a free video and brochure. Life is better when you're on track. So get on track with Nordic Track. I hate my job, but there's nothing I can do about it. That's
that doesn't have to be true. You can change careers or get that high school diploma at home through ICS, International Correspondence Schools. You can change your whole life. ICS Home Study has the courses to make it happen. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, gun repair, art, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. And we provide all the materials you'll need at home so you never have to set foot in a classroom. So if you want a career, not just a job, or you want to make more money, ICS is your answer. Thanks, ICS. Call 1-800-447-8000 for free information on the ICS course you choose. There's no obligation and no salesman will visit you. Take that first step and call now. 1-800-447-8000. Here's the kind of mind-bending question you can expect from Clash. How many wedgies were you personally responsible for in high school? Clash, weeknights at 7, here at Comedy Central. Mm -hmm. Well, say, Joel, I have a oh, question. Yeah? yeah, ask away, my red friend. <laughs> well, why is it these guys in the film give such fancy-pants names to everything, hmm? Yeah, like they call a regular old shield the Glimmering Charm Shield. It's like so stupid, guy. Well, it's obvious that this movie has a really low budget, especially mm -hmm. for props. And yeah. so by adding really neat names to ordinary things, you can kind of dress it up. Like, it was kind of mm -hmm. obvious her breastplate that she, the woman was wearing was actually an off-the-rack auto part from Napa. Yeah, but you can't yeah. very well say, uh, hither yon, there goes the uh, hubcap of the Plymouth Somerset, right? Oh, right, yeah. but what you could say is, she has donned the maiden shield of Valley 7. Exactly, oh, yeah. now you're getting it. Uh, I, I get it, I see. Um, if I had a box of ordinary paper clips, uh, I could say, um, here is a box of incredibly bent pieces of wire used to hold the pressed wood pulp planes in security. Right, now uh -huh. you're getting it. That's exactly right. It's just adding extraordinary names to ordinary things. It makes it fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you find the fun and snap the jobs game. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Poppins. Yeah, spit spot, you too. Oh, I love to laugh. Long and loud and clear. <laughs> oh, sorry, I digress. Um, well, anyway, you know, they give cool names to TV shows like that, too, like uh, White Shadow. Could have been called uh, Haloed Hoop Honky. Or uh, Jake and the Fat Man. You could have called that, um, well, uh, Jake, Jake and the, and the Fat Man. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what occurs to me that when local TV stations talk about the Grand Marshals for their holiday parades, what they're really saying is Gavin McLeod. Exactly. Oh, I got one. A pre-recorded segment that's... Uh, that goes into a program is called a bumper, and yeah. actually, it's really just the movie. So, oh, oh wow! <laughs> oh boy! Well, let's see. Uh, he who reads these words of wit eats his little balls. Oh, now that's immature, even for the dark ages. Hmm, for a good time, call Dawn. 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 They're kind of dumb, they're easy to kill. The American Gladiators. Hmm. Ah, hmm. something dull. Come towards it, our friend. By the stubbing of my thumb, something stupid this way comes. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Hmm. Checks out. Meter man. Knock it off up there! Hmm? For a time call. Stupid rock. Stupid, stupid rock. Oh. Oh, man. Find a way out? Stupid oh. rock. Good thing you were here, Gomez. You would have never found it out yet. Huh? Drago, drago, brown. Time for this one to come home. So Bob Hope owns all of that? Yeah, yeah, we're thinking of turning it into a nine-hauler. Mm. Yeah. You have failed, Thunder. Bad, Captain. You have made me Bad. Precious time! You had all the magical powers that you told me you had. Again with a finger! I don't see how I failed. You don't, eh? Well, you soon will. God! Hey, Paul Wellstone. Speed after all this time. Sandor has been worthy of your esteem. Then you were as guilty of having failed as he is. Flog him!
Thank you, sir. Have mercy. I fear for you, Sandor. Mercy does not dwell in the hearts of those without spiritual strength and wisdom. Don't bite me. It's fun. Very well. Imprison him. I'll employ some tricks of my own against Sandor. And you can use your time to come up with something new. And it better be good, Sandor, if you want to regain my esteem. And I think you know how important for you is my esteem. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll do linking rings. I'll do bottle on the cup. I'll do metamorphosis. Wait, wait! Hands up here. Oh, we're already there. It's much too quiet here. Too, too quiet. Not a good sign. Sense the presence of something evil. That's you. Dora must be at work here. Since we left the cave, I've had the feeling that we're being followed. Ah, uh, that's me, boss. I'm right behind you. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Huh? What's this? Quick, hide. Oh, no. They've jumped right into a Kurosawa film. So it'll start making sense? Mm-hmm. Yep. Toshiro Mufun, right there. I'm huge. Mm -hmm. Dig me. Yeah. Oh, no, a mime. Oh. <laughs> Did he mention he's huge? Yeah. He does that. Warriors, come out and play! Yeah. <laughs> now, you see, I use two blades. The first blade lifts the head away from the body before the head can snap back. And then... The, uh, okay. the little yeah. skin level. Yeah. We get it. Huh? Come on. Come on. Ooh, right in the bread basket. You know, the reason this scene is so good is because we care about the characters. We do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do? We really do. Hey, it's the life of the party. He's got a lampshade on his head. It'll be the death of the party, so... <laughs> oh, wicker armor, courtesy Pier 1. Doesn't work too well. Let's just decorate it. hurts, don't it? I... Look out, it's Coco the Terrible. <laughs> Goofy old mime. <laughs> Just like we rehearsed it. Oh. Over. Cross. <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> oh, or not. Hey! Is this where the kegger is? We saw Mark's van in front. No, wait. Uh, we just remembered. Uh, we didn't leave enough change in the meter. We're double parked. Bye! <laughs> no use changing. Save your strength. The castle of the Great One is still far away. And the end of the movie is even further. Well, uh, yeah. Hey, Matson West. In stopping, Apple, I might invert this course. Mm -hmm. Also harm your daughter. What do you say to that? I say you could drive a Mack truck through your cues. Tempo, tempo, pick it I up. Must admit that as a murderer, you are most impressive. Mm -hmm. But as an Andrew McCarthy as a fan. You will receive nothing from me but pity. Aww. Careful, old man. Go to bed, old man. My patience has its limits. I'm aware of that. Now. As does your talent. But I mustn't expect too much from you. <laughs> patience, <laughs> after sure. all, is a virtue which is found only in the strong. <laughs> You're wonderful. Marry me. You do amuse me. Mm. And provoke me. That is love, is Zora. it? Mm. What is it? Astor has escaped again. Oh. Hi, Kurt Gowdy here. Join Thong and Phil Harris and me out on the Idaho River fishing for trout. <laughs> now try catching a steak, dog. Thong. Thong. <laughs>
Huh? Pator, what's your dream? How big is God? For a moment back there, I had the feeling you knew those men that attacked us. Did you? Yes. Well, we played varsity together. I do. Who were they? They're the survivors of the noble tribe of Hun. They worship the god of war. Soko. Soko. I know that name. Oh, he dated my he friend was Lord Sharon. Of the Northern Territory. Uh, what's uh, Miles setting on? Ooh, I don't want to know. In a great battle against the Hun, Zor exterminated them, but spared huh? the lives of three samurai, and then used them to uh -oh. kill his own brother and usurp power. Oh, if this is another flashback, I gotta go get a sandwich. You think I... that Zor will? Oh, that's okay. Do you think my father's still alive? Oh, sure. <coughs> Zor wants to possess your father's knowledge, Mina. And your mother's wardrobe. Mm. And the geometric nucleus. Mm. No. Your father's safe. As long as he has it. Uh, that's enough fish, Don. Thank you. Thank you very much, Don. That's enough fish. Just a few dozen more. Why did you go and live so far away? Well, it's on the bus line. My father taught me the path I must follow. It is for this I live the way I do. <laughs> but shouldn't a man, destiny? Oh, I thought you were going to say something. Coincide with the desires of his heart? Man's destiny is always predetermined. Always oh, a Calvinist. By the true <laughs> desires of his heart. I know what mine is, and I must follow it alone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. That's all right. I'm glad you asked. What's your major? Don, hmm? the fish is ready. Watch the other guy take it on the chin. Right through your neck, but it shouldn't hurt. What? Oh, on TV bloopers weeknights at 7.30 here at Comedy Central. When this was Grandfather's desk, every week Grandma would polish it with Pledge for a beautiful shine with no buildup. Now that it's mine, I use Touchable Pledge. With Pledge, smears just disappear. Grandma's going to love it. Also in a trigger spray bottle. Now you can get Gettysburg from Time Life Book's monumental series, The Civil War, for just $4.99. I'll be back to tell you how. In The Civil War from Time Life Books, you'll read why our country went to war against itself. You'll understand the cause and see the effects on the field and on the home front. Beginning with Gettysburg, you're as free to examine for 10 days to keep for only $4.99. And with your purchase, receive the Civil War Almanac free. Get both sides of this great and tragic story in Time Life Books, Civil War. Call now for your free examination of Gettysburg. If you decide to keep it, page is $4.99. That's $10 off the regular price. Other books will follow about every other month on the same free examination. Buy only the ones you want, cancel any time. So dial this toll-free number now. We're waiting for your call. Galileo is a NASA project to orbit Jupiter and send a probe into its atmosphere. Merle Palmer, professor, DeVry Institute. So I took leave from DeVry to work on the spacecraft. NASA asked me to bring my experience to the project. It makes me better qualified to help my students, too. It keeps me current, sharp. Merle Palmer, another DeVry teacher bringing real-world experience to the classroom. There's a lot more to teaching than textbooks. Call now, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Surprise! Say hello to the new kids on the block. Hello? Hello? Hiya! <laughs> but don't panic. I mean, I'm only cutting your hands. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, oh let me catch my breath for a second. <clears throat> now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? It's the kids in the hall. It'll be fun. I'll cuss your head. <laughs> the Kids in the Hall, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern, only at Comedy Central. Oh, wow, and I wouldn't get for a weed eater right now. Hmm? No, no, don't kill us. Oh, what were you getting me for? Oh, you thought me into it. Huh? What? I'm dead. Uncle Dave? Oh. <clears throat> you talked me into it. What is 
opens it. Someone's coming. Look. Cover your head. Get dressed. Who are you? Uh, we're pirates. What do you want? Look, you captured us. <clears throat> Fine. Where do you come from? Everywhere and nowhere. Somebody say something? Well, answer. Can't you speak? We're from Sulajan. Eh, wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Sulajan? Yeah, it's to the north, not far from here. Yeah, I worked out there. I know. It's where my parents were born. Then you're Ato, pupil of the great master. Yeah, yeah, that's you me speak pretty much. without fear with me. Much evil has fallen on the people of our village. Bummer. In order to survive, we must make an offering to the god of the tongue. Humans sacrifice to the serpent god on every full moon. Besides, our people are not warriors. We're only poor farmers. If we don't get help soon, we'll all die. Hmm, I like it. Make it shorter, I'll buy it. The tongues have always demanded the blood of man. <laughs> yeah, they're funny that way. <laughs> I'll soon finish you. We must act quickly. But not right now. In a minute or two. Half an hour, maybe. Wow, check out the way that guy moves, huh? What you mm -hmm. can do, Ator? We'll take them back to the village. And I'll speak with their people. The village people? Mm -hmm. The tongues will kill us. Mm, I think we should run! Ah! No, let them go, Thong. If you love something, let it go. We'll go without them. We'll hurry down we'll there. will be the first to volunteer. I'll be doing the death scene from Camille, thank you. Mm. And the next. Come forward, cowardly lion. Oh, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. I could use a man like you. And I do mean use. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> never mind. Nice try. Yeah. We need another. I'll go. Uh, no, you went last time. One to a no, customer. No, no, not you, my dear. Our family's already given one life to the time. Hmm? Grandma, mine. Another will have to take my place. Nancy Walker in a cameo role. Mm. Wait! Hey! It's Speedy Delivery Guy, and has he got a package? Stop! In the name of love. Just wait for me. I'll be down in a minute. Just stand there. I'm coming. Okay. Well, now. Oh, I thought this was the Anderson party. Sorry. I'll just be on my way. Who is this gentle stranger with pecks like melons and needs a fringe? Hi. That door. Where? You have chosen a day of mourning to visit the village of your parents. Afternoon. I've really? come to help you fight. We're not fighting men. The goons are bad. You must. If you go on like this, none of you will be left alive. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ravani? Who? Ravani has left us. Because he had nothing to do with the he film. Too old to guide us. I have taken his place as the elder. He was a proud, courageous man. But dumber than a bag of hammers. He never would have allowed such submissive behavior. What, did you call me a wussy? Mm -hmm. You must not lose heart. I see great Because courage. a guy will eat it. Most of your young people willingly sacrifice themselves to be victims Coffee. of the tongue and their serpent Tea. god. Why Coffee. not put that courage to better use and fight back? For the tongue Coffee. can be defeated and I will help you. You will regain your freedom and Juice. live in peace again. The prize is an excellent weapon. Hi, Estelle. How are you doing, requires intelligence rather than brute strength. Posture, people. Let's cruel. snap it up no. a bit. But they are oh. stupid as well. It's scary. They always make frontal attacks against their enemies. They know you have been pacified and won't be expecting any resistance from you. Uh-huh. What we must do is prepare a trap for them when they arrive. Right here. And then we'll take them by surprise. Mm -hmm. Your village is well situated. And so am I. Those rocks will act as a wall to protect you. And vice versa. That side is impassable to horses, so they'll have to attack from over there. To fortify that exposed side, I'll need several sharp stakes, ropes, and three men to help me. 
You? And you, too. Come with me. You afraid? No. <laughs> Won't you fight to save your people? No. I will. I want to fight. For my right Good. to party. Who else will join him? All done back there? Are there any more of you here worthy of being called men? Come oh, on, she we can win. I'm sure of it. You. Step forward. Or you know better than sheep or men. Bad man. Judges, too harshly. We are people who need more cow gone. But you have convinced me. Some hot Bring the sacred wine. Ancient wife. Chinese secret, huh? Ator's prehistoric cave dwellers in Milwaukee are a long way apart, but they have one thing in common: cave land means the best human hearts available, and Milwaukee means sacred wine. Now, Ator, cream or sugar? Huh? Let us drink to your return. Then, then we will discuss your plan. Drink it all. Sometimes the poison's on the bottom. I've heard this part. I walk. I thank you. And drink to the health, hey. prosperity, and liberty. Not bad. Hmm. Champagne makes me giggly. <laughs> let us organize ourselves. I smell a rat. A big commie rat. Hey. It's Timothy Leary. I guess Liddy will have to do the tour without him. <laughs> My name is Ravani. Tell that all the great tragedy. Yeah, yeah, get some sleep, Quentin, okay? Is your ear drained? Good. Oh? Your spit back up, Paul. Okay, so uh, I just call now, okay? Um, uh, I just leave the sign on so the maid makes a room? Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you done with your <laughs> drink? <laughs> we secretly switched Ato's coffee with Folger's crystals. Let's watch. Now we call this film The Wong Dwellers. Oh, yeah. Song. Song. Yeah, song. Sorry. Satellite picture shows clouds coming in from the west, but this should burn off by about noon. Before the dawn of time, a race of druids. Nobody knew who they were or where they came from. Cool. Boy, that cleared up really quick. Yeah, I told you. Still alive. Think so? I wonder if it wouldn't have been easier if we had just kept on going to the aid of my father. A Monday morning quarterback. No one's life is more important than another's. Except mine. Your father would have done the same. Wear a tiny leather bikini? Mm -hmm. This is CNN, Luke. Check it out. They worship the Munsingwear penguin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, pardon us. Did you see a little tiny fox run through here? No? The village elder was the one who lured you to come to help us. In other words, those two were part of the plan. I wish yes. they were part of the plot. Some of us were against it and wanted to fight. But the majority were too terrified. The elder is going to hand you over to the tongues. In exchange, they've promised to stop killing our people. All right, who's talking? I can't stop. figure it out. It must be the director. The door. And what happened to Ravani? The new elder has been slowly poisoning him. Because he knew Ravani would warn you if he could. Fun. I think Ravani must be dead by now. Hey, it's Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. I think it's the Kurds. And Way? <laughs> yes, Way. They are terrifying, aren't they? With those bandanas, and they all look very uh, Machiavellian with their shirts off. Machiavellian? Hiya, Phil. Morning, Tom. My bus is now past, old one. Have you done what you said? Well, nope. we have kept our promise. Now you must keep yours. I give you our talk, and in return, our village will no longer have to sacrifice to your serpent god. Uh, that must mean no. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is the 
the pillage people. <laughs> no, no. It's not fair. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> It's never been told before. Kevin Costner is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, June 14th at a theater near you. This Father's Day, give him the revolutionary Gillette sensor. The best a dad can get. Unlock your body's potential. We proudly offer Soloflex. 24 old-fashioned iron pumping exercises, each correct in form and balance. All on the simple machine that fits in the corner of your home. For a free brochure, call anytime. We all know how much fun playing the guitar can be, but until now, learning meant months of tedious lessons costing hundreds of dollars and getting limited results. Well, no more. Now you can learn to play any guitar in only 30 days. In fact, you'll actually be playing from the very first day, even if you've never held a guitar before. How's it possible? With the revolutionary Guitar Today video program. Rock, country, folk, pop, or jazz, you'll be playing guitar from the very first day. When I first heard about the Guitar Today video, I was skeptical, but I tried it, and now I'm playing electric guitar in my own band. I ordered the tape for my son, and he played his first song in only one day. Then my daughter used the program, and she did just as well. Now my husband is showing off with how well he plays. Use your credit card and order your two-hour videotape and instructional workbook for only $29.95 plus $3.95 shipping. Call now, 1-800-726-6000. That's 1-800-726-6000. Or send your check to the address shown. Sorry, no CODs. Tonight. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. From 10 to 1. You owe me money. <laughs> you owe me money. Your life will change forever. And who does this remind us of? Well, maybe not, but examine the lineup. Saturday Night Live kicks off at 10, Night After Night rocks at 11, Short Attention Span Theater at midnight, and SCTV starts at 1. <gasps> maybe this could change your life. Monday through Thursday, 10 to 1, here at Comedy Central. Oh, duh, I'm sure. My hair is getting singed. Last time I go club hopping with this guy. Bonnie, start lighting those huts. The other two. We'll get them later. A job well done. No! No! Please! Oh. Looks like the back lot at Universal. <laughs> Feel the burn. Come on, go for the burn. Hey, here's just a wild idea. Why don't you rotate to the other side of the pole where the fire isn't? This scene brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal. Edges light quickly. You know, they shouldn't have filmed this at Yellowstone. Oh. Hey. All right. All right. Uh, Finally. Oh, them oh, again. Eh, I'll probably rip this out. It was there when we moved in. Good foundation, though. Had a little trouble with silverfish, but that's just for a few weeks in the spring. Ah, oh, hiya, Phil. How's the snake hanging? I love that joke. <laughs> that's a cute story. Hey, who's the new guy? so sad. Somebody say something. Jeez. That guy with the beard really looks bitter. Yeah. I'm the best looking man in the Middle Ages. My, my, my. Hi, Fred. Hi, everyone. Looking good, Simone. Sorry I'm late. Hi. Hello. Hi. What are you looking at? Yeah, it is the treasure I owe you. You can count it. I don't mind. And I trust you will also accept a little personal offering Thanks. from me to your god. It's a new car! Oh, sorry.
The Bangles? I want to thank you for your offering, though it wasn't in our agreement. Oh, close your robe. But do not think you'll be able to exchange at all or the girl for them. Darn. It will be my honor to perform the rites of sacrifice personally. I use the word offering precisely because I didn't expect anything in exchange from you. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. I consider our mutual agreement to be entirely fulfilled. All right. I know. Your father is safe and well. In hell. Unfortunately, I won't be able to say the same to him of you. Or of you to As him, you or... Oh, well, never mind. All my efforts... Don't have touch you the hair. I work on the hair and you touch it. Vain. It's obvious you're not cut out for good deeds. Anyway, it will be less repugnant to be strangled by a thousand hmm. serpents than to have to endure your smile. I see. What does uh, repugnant mean again? Oh, no matter. Hmm. Yes, well. You don't find me repugnant, do you? Hmm. You have defeated my magician. You have defeated my warrior. But all your science has proved helpless against the powers of imagination and cunning. May I just uh, cup one I'm of your sure packs? I'm sure a weak point. Ding! Your eagerness for good deeds has betrayed you, Ator. The master won't be very pleased with his surprise, Tuco. It's all over. I mean, it's all over for you, Ator. I know we've been best, best friends. Damn. Has the mighty Ator nipple. Must be cold in there. Mm -hmm. I have only one thing to say. Plastic. We will meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Your master has taught me one thing. The dividing line between goodness and stupidity mm -hmm. is very, very fine. Come on, girls, let's go. Begin the sacrifice. Oh, wait a minute, the tape's not queued up. Uh there's a maraca down there. I can't go in there. Susan Hayward's down there. Whoa. Oh, all right. Uh, am I late? Uh, hi, Travis. Uh. Do I look good or what? Yes, yes. Oh. I shall now sacrifice for all your help and for the powerful protection. Ah, uh, yeah, powerful protection. I view by the maiden, uh -huh. as well as Dila, daughter of Acronis, and add all the of land. land. I pray that these human sacrifices will please you, so that you will favor us, and we can conquer our enemies and in your name, mightiest of God. All right, down you go. <laughs> so bad in here. I can really get used to this. And a pleasant. Snake problem, though. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, folks. We have snakes growling here. Just like the other one. Hey, what happened to the first girl? I'm way over here. Calm down. I just ate. I can't eat another thing for another six months. You're in great shape. Growling again. You know, Streep was up for this role. Snakes that growl, huh? The slower and more painful the death, no. the more pleased will be the serpent god. You know, he told me that really in the strictest confidence. All right. Throw down another one. Just like the other one. Wait, I'm 4F. Oh! Man, Gomez is really taking his time. Uh -huh. Here comes a creepy mouse. It's padding. No! No! Oh. And now, the fourth victim to please 
got off a different little dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I'll just hide here behind this chase lounge. This is a comfort rest adjustable bed. Hmm. Oh, look, anal retentive snakes, they lined up the skulls. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Come on. I like to move that hair out of his face. Jeez. Uh -huh. Oh, he's taking her home for later. Bye. That was neat. In you go. Psst. Hey, Etal. I'm behind this little pneumonium post over here. Yeah. It's cool. What's he gonna do? Ow! Ooh. Accept, O oh Lord of Serpents and Evil. Get your own. Which we, your servants, offer you. May your spirit and strength be transmitted to us so that we may raise you. Not cut for your wrist. Your name. Now the man. I always knew I would be an apostle. Oh, Ouch, I landed on my eight sided dice. Uh, uh, now her. Uh -oh. Come on, in you go. Get in the bidet, sister. Inzy Windy, come on. Aha. Huh? Here we go. Now we finally have some action. Right. Let's get busy. Oh, no. We gotta go now. Oh, Just when it's getting good. Oh, Carry me. No. Chase me. I'll kill you myself. Say, Joel, mm -hmm. why is it when they punch each other in this movie, it doesn't sound anything like a punch? Hmm? Yeah, it sounds more like a bag full of sardines thrown against a pole barn. Well, you're not too far <laughs> off, you skipsters. You see, sound effects artists use a technique called Foley to create those sounds. It's interesting, isn't it? Mm, no, not really. I don't think so. No. I think maybe you should humor me. Oh, okay, oh, okay sure. Oh, Foley, Very huh? Very interesting. Know? Really cool. Yeah, tell us. Well, Please. I'm glad you asked, boys. Foley artists use a lot of ordinary items found around the home or office to create convincing sound effects. Oh, like the sound of uh, fish slamming into jaws? <laughs> right. Well, let's get started with something simple. An easy way to make a horse trotting is to use a pair of coconuts. Oh. Coconuts? Right. Now listen. It's ah. the sound of a quarter horse gilding on a cobblestone courtyard. It's pretty convincing, isn't it? Yeah, but what if the horse is on grass, hmm? Yeah. Oh, you add these handy sod mumps, okay? Oh. Whoa, all of a sudden we're at Aqueduct. <laughs> yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff, like uh, take punches. Oh, I'd rather not. Not in the mouth. No, no, please, I, mean, no. <laughs> I mean the sound of punches. Okay, oh. traditionally a leather glove against a heavy metal or a heavy punching bag was used, heavy okay? Metal. Heavy metal punching bag? Ooh, like oh, that. Ooh, but whoa. the sound in this Ator movie is much, much cheesier. Right, yep, I'm yep, way yep. ahead of you, buddy. Yep. You just use these uh, goggles here, yeah. okay? And use a pair of Hollywood meat slammers, okay? Oh. Add your own grunts. Real meat. Uh, oh, oh, uh, keep Oh, wow, like that, that is see? absolutely perfect, but but why the goggles? Eye protection. Now, I want you to name me a sound, and I bet I can foley it. I got it, I got it. Uh, okay. do, uh, do the ocean. Okay, that's easy. Just add birdshot to a drum head. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, say, that's cool. Yeah, it's neat, huh? Okay, I got another one. Let's see. Uh, how about the sound of somebody's spine cracking? Oh, that's easy. You use celery. Make sure it's fresh. Okay. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Woo. That's too easy, guys. Give me a hard one. Oh, okay, I got it. A herd of buffalo. Oh, no problem. Box full of hamsters. Huh? Poor guys. Uh, did I say buffalo? I meant water buffalo. Oh, well, that's <laughs> simple. You just add some milk. Uh huh. Poor little Check guys. it out. Well, okay, now I got a tough one. A yeah. rubber Wellington boot stuck in the mud. Oh, that's easy. You just fill a pair of pantyhose with some jello. Uh -huh. Like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. See, it's neat. Cool. All right, right uh, do a scream. Now, that's a good oh, do well, a there's a lot of ways to do that. But okay. I'll show you this way. Just take an, 
for a man's voice, you just take an Ohio blue tip match, uh -huh. strike it against somebody. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ah! Yeah, it's simple. Okay, now and, how about a woman's scream, Joel? Oh, well, then for a woman, you set fire to TV's madam. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, don't hide my hat! Oh, no! It's oh, simple. Oh, help me, there she help goes. me, buddy! I'm flaming! Oh, get that's me to a great mouth scream. Oh, well, cool. Bill, Joe. Oh, help me, help me! We'll be help right me. back. I very seldom show emotion too much. Well, I'm the happiest man in this entire world. I love the smell of gridiron in the morning. Buckeye. Bolster. Heyman. Sports Monster. 6.30 Eastern Saturday. It's Billy the Kid, a new Western hero. Uh, from the heart of Manhattan. Kill anyone today? They ain't over yet. Billy Crystal, Bruno Kirby, and Daniel Stern. City Slickers, special sneak preview tonight at a theater near you. Check newspapers. This film has been rated PG-13. Is there something wrong? I mean, you have this strange look on your face. What do I need to do? Brush more? Get another toothpaste? What? Tartar Control Crest helps stop tartar where it starts. It penetrates black before it hardens for easier cleanings. And more dentists recommend it. You're smiling. Does that mean less tartar? Tartar Control Crest. The dentist's choice is the easy choice. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? The unadjusted trial balance. And it's starting I've been an accountant for eight years. I've taught at colleges with traditional programs. And now I teach accounting at DeVry. And for the first time, I really feel like I'm preparing students for a career. DeVry brings real-world experience to the classroom with involved teachers like Sherry Elkin. Let me put my experience to work for you. Call now, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Hi, Bob Vila for Sears, the home improvement professional. Looking for central air conditioning? You can count on Sears. You'll get a dependable product installed right at a fair price. You know, efficiency is all important in central air conditioning. A six-rated air conditioner costs $510 a year to run, while a Sears 12-rated air conditioner costs only $249. With a Sears 12, you could save up to $261 a year. Sears has a wide selection of quiet, dependable central air conditioners to meet your needs, and you get a warranty on parts and labor. If necessary, you can have emergency installation. And if there's ever a problem, Sears has America's largest service network. For central air and a whole lot more, count on the home improvement professionals at Sears, the most trusted name around the house. Call 1-800-272-7500 to arrange a free in-home Sears installed air conditioning estimate. 1-800-272-7500. The judges let these people walk because they haven't got circumcising evidence. Hear more straight talk from Norm Crosby on The Big Room, Sunday at 8.30, here at Comedy Central. of all soft puppets. Yeah, yeah you might say he's coiling a cobra. <laughs> Big time. And yeah, you know what? He's not slimy at all. That's because he's made out of velour. Yeah, that's probably it. A yeah. planet where snakes evolved from men? Uh, you know, um, you can jump in here anytime. Uh, no problem. Uh, no, I got it. That's okay. You just stay, do what you're doing over there. It's okay. Quick, hand me a hanger. Just cut the wires, Ator. <laughs> this is for Kukla. Yeah. And and this one's for Fran Allison. Yeah. I'm come on, beanie boy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. That was neat. Are you all right? Oh. oh. You got a cigarette? Let's I'm stay up and talk a while. I'm spent. K2, rising majestically above the Nepalese highlands. Or not. Too quiet. Too, 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 too quiet. quiet. Tonk. Tonk. Is there another way up to the castle? Behind the wall, there's a secret passage. Mm. 
Must have been unnoticed. We'll never free your father without them knowing it. What secret could it be if uh, he knows about it? I have to fight them. The three of us? No, just me. You were a big help with the snake. Anyone else? Gomez, you want to take a line, buddy? If I remember correctly, there's another way in. Yes, it's still there. It opens into the underground passage. It's a super secret double dog entry. You and Thong go in that way. Uh, it's Dong, sir. No, it is Thong, it's Thong. 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 Did you hear something? I swear I heard something. I'll keep them busy outside. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. You must have something in mind. So you live around here much? Do you? Oh. Oh, come on. What the? <laughs> oh. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. I have slipped the surly bounds of earth and touched the hand of God. This is a little ridiculous. Okay, so he kills a deer, he tans the hides, he stretches the skins, he makes an anodized aluminum frame, he learns how to extrude and weld all in about five minutes, huh? He learned aerodynamics. Boy, you get up here, everything looks small. Only one problem, how do I get this thing down? Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like he flew into an Omnimax show, doesn't it? He flew into another country. A tour flies, and so does my heart. In his kite made of string and sticks and bamboo, I fly along with you. So pretty. I go along for the ride. I'm not stupid like the rest of them. At all, at all, my sweet friend. Huh? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> what? Oh, wow, that pog, that crazy. <laughs> you killed me. Gomez, I've invented the wheel. Atar Thomas Peterson, you get down here immediately this instant. It's not just Ator that's flying. It's the human spirit. Let's get out of here. Help me. I don't know how to get this thing to work. Goodbye. Goodbye, Paul. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think I just invented air sickness. <laughs> huh. Meanwhile, at the wineries of Ernest and Judy O'Gallo, Tommy Smothers is raising quite a havoc. Uh, my hub, my hub gets chasing. Oh, this must be the secret passageway. Let's go. So high. Oh. Fly. Great. This is the opening of From Where Eagles Dare. I've seen this. So Weyerhaeuser is committed to preserving our natural resources. I can see my house from here. We're flying so free. Hey, and it's anamorphic. Huh? We're squished in up. <laughs> hey. Hey, look up there. What is it? A bird? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Oh, I've seen that comic. It's a graphic novel. Hey, Carl, this is George Kennedy. Uh, we're going to talk you down now. You're crazy. It can't be. Come on, there's a man in the sky. A man in the sky? Get out of here. I'm not for your lies. I think I blew my cover. <laughs> is that asshole up there? Or are yes. you just glad to see me? Because I told him the theory of flight. <laughs> and if you had been a better student, so you could be flying too. Here's those meat slammers. Theory of flight. I'll teach you the theory of fist. You can go on beating me. But leave me in the groin first. Because Arthur is better than you. He'll vanquish you. We'll see about that. Oh, that one stung. He hit on that one. Connected. Made contact. Landing music. He's in trouble. I gotta land, I'm almost out of fuel. Oh, no. 
Oh, it's an Alpine White commercial. Well, looks like he flew into 17th century Bulgaria, and that's Mad Lugwood's castle right there. Oh, right in the turret. <laughs> Message for you, sir. Oh, he also made bombs while he was making that kind of thing. Uh, looks like he's going to carpet bomb. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. All right, you crummy rats. Henry Kissinger says Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's for calling me a thumb. Oh. oh, he didn't even throw that one. Damn, no handrail. Well, that's a nice, well-lit uh, secret passageway. Well, it's secret, but they didn't want to get carried away. Thrust, parry, advance, cross, thrust, back, thrust. Here's one for my old pal, Melvin Ladd. Oh, ah! my God, they hit Charlie McCarthy. This. this is going to be my regular Saturday night thing. Uh, own regular Saturday night thing. I thought the movie was done. Hey, look. Oh, he's landing in the outback now. Uh, huh? How'd he do that? How'd I do that? Well, I suppose he's got a tank in the courtyard now. Yeah, and it's made out of coconuts. Right. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh-oh. This is for you. Ha! And here's one for you. Ha! There's a little bit That's more for dumb. you. Thank you. This program is brought to you by Zest Deodorant Bar. Ever wonder what they mean by zestfully clean? It's the feeling you get when... Please hold on to the bar. Zestfully clean. Zestfully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. That's zestfully clean. Pay for one weekend night at Holiday Inn. The second night's free. Details on special packages. This Father's Day, give him the revolutionary Gillette Sensor. The best a dad can get. If you're feeling a little unpopular because of a wart, try America's number one wart remedy, Compound W. It hates warts more than you do. At DeVry, it's the students that are important. It's great. You need to, you come here, and if you're serious about your success, you'll learn here because they take care of you. They really do. DeVry pays attention to details. Whether it's financial aid, student housing, classwork, or job placement, DeVry cares. They really help me. Get DeVry's attention. Call now, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Great legs. Thank you. How do you get them? I used to do aerobics till I dropped. Then I found Thigh Master. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. I thought I'd never fit into these jeans again. Thank you, Thigh Master. I recommend it and use it. The secret to shapely thighs is exercising these muscles with just the right resistance. This balanced resistance coil is designed to give you results quickly and comfortably. Want to tone your upper chest and arms? Thigh Master will give you excellent results. Thigh Master, we may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. To order your Thigh Master, call 1 800 726 6000. Have your credit card ready or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 for shipping and handling to this address. And if you're not fully satisfied, return it in 30 days for your money back. Plus, if you call right now, we'll also send you Suzanne's Slender for Life plan absolutely free. Thigh Master is not available in stores, so act right now. Pardon me. Thank you. Coming through. I oh. know the nucleus is in here somewhere. Then you had better tell me where it is. He'd probably tell, me tell you if you'd stop where? pushing him around. Or I'd chew with my own bare hands. I'm warning you. Now tell me. Where have you hidden it? Stop with the protons. You can't miss it. 
Hey, he's got to cut the heck out of his thighs with those swords. No! You will die. No! No! Ta-da! Oh, call me Atra, and I don't come with a comfort strip. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> well, maybe a little. So, the mighty Atra needs two swords to fight with, does he? Mockery is the ignorant man's weapon. <laughs> Uh, I always knew you were Oh, fool. the mighty long-haired John Saxon needs two swords to fight. 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 Is this the mighty actor? Uh, no, that's living cold. legend. Who said living legend? Close enough. Have you lost your nerve? Oh, come on. Yeah, he ran to the ends of the earth. He invented the wheel. He had a long day. Hey, look, the Desiderata's on the wall over there. The original. I'm not going to help him now. He's not much without his hang glider, is he? <laughs> no! 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 Have wonderful packs. Major Blank. No. Is that a comic book over there? It's not, not a comic, comic book, it's a graphic novel. But it's not good enough. <laughs> okay, now that that's good. Can he do that? Now I'll cut you in two. Into what? <laughs> That way. No, I told you can't. Zor is disarmed. If you kill him now, you'll be guilty of murder. What? Wait until he is tried by the High Court of the League of Peaceful Lands. Oh, he's making the that up. Of but this and BC we'll law. Is done. They will make him pay for his crime. But for us to take the law in our hands puts us on the level of the barbarians. We are no, barbarians. It's life is something man shouldn't take upon himself. What are you, Lucas Tanner, all of a sudden? So what the heck did I hang glide in here for, anyway? You could wrap that up sooner. No, beat us. <laughs> Ator, be careful! No! Huh? Hurt, don't it? Give my mustache to Trevor! <sighs> Trevor? Hey, thanks a lot, Dong. I'll visit you in prison and bake your rice cake with a saw in it, Bodie. I mean, Father, Father, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Is Charles in charge over? Thanks for showing up. Do oh, it. Thank goodness you're safe. Oh. Hey, come on. Thanks, to How about a little sugar for Ator over here, huh? Hmm? Dong? No, it's a dance belt. I'll be with you in a minute. Your father gave me the nucleus. I'm taking it back with me. Oh, and uh, there was some turkey and stuff in the fridge. I made myself a sandwich. Hope you don't mind. Mila, I wanted to say that... You don't have to say anything. I know you must fight evil wherever it occurs. <laughs> My life is too dangerous to share with you. Mm -hmm. You must follow your destiny alone. With Chad. Goodbye, Mila. After I've finished, I'll be back. And I'll look like a leather pancake. Yes. Take care of yourself and your father. He needs you. <laughs> uh, I gotta go model for a line of action figures. I'll see you. Watch over. I think I can do that. He is like so cool. Oh. Miles O'Keefe will be back in Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows. Hey. Lest the nucleus fall into unscrupulous hands, and the earth and all living creatures be consumed in a seething cauldron of annihilation. Anybody got a clue? At all. Destroyed it. Mm. Perhaps in the future, man would be wise enough to use this Prometheus. Actually, Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked it over. Oh, yeah. 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 Mankind. 
You make me want to vomit. Go away. Just go away. I'm so sick of you. Get out of here. Come on. Well, this is neat, but what the heck does it have to do with the movie? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I think they ran out of things to do. Yeah. Throw a little Oppenheimer in here right now. Hey, I see a president's face up there. I see a bunny. Oh. How about enough of this? <laughs> Let's escape to Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he traded in his hang glider for a horse. He probably built that horse, too. Yeah, nah, he did. Out of mud and sticks. Raised it from a pup. Beautiful animal, isn't he? Where hey, look, tire tracks. <laughs> Cow. Inherent goodness of man. The man inherent dullness of right to do battle. Wherever man took place. Wherever there's Asshole kids laughing because they're hungry and they know supper's ready. Wherever there's a cop beating up no on a guy. Is too powerful and protected to avoid his rightful punishment. He is the guardian of knowledge and the hope of the future. Yeah, right. Asshole, the Avenger. Oh. Huh? What? No, it, oh, the Guardians of B.O. all of a sudden. No, that's the, those are the screenwriters. Take your best shot, guys. And I gotta get something heavy to throw. <laughs> this is really cute, these credits here, huh? Hey, it's the new kids in the cave. Oh. Huh. You know, they couldn't even find an exciting enough scene from their own movie to show with the credits. This looks like the Jefferson Jr. high production of Godspell. Mm -hmm. I, I missed that. <laughs> Uh, no, those... No, 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 no. The mohawk goes the other way. You look like a turkey. You know, or kind of like a bath brush, too. Yeah. Yeah. Walk like an Egyptian. Hey, chicken head. Hey, chicken head. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> my shirt. Papillon, I need to borrow some money. I think he's looking for James Franciscus and Charlton Heston. Wow. Kind of groovy. Okay, let's huh? get out of this huh? dog right now. Huh? What is it? We gotta go. Oh. Oh, hi. Hey, it's Chad and Trevor. They found each other. What? What do you what? want? Come on, what? This wasn't that bad, was it? Come on. I liked it. Look, Booby, when we send you a film, they're supposed to be bad. What do you want from us? I mean, we, we have it worse than them. We, we have to watch you watching the film. <sighs> okay, look. It's bad enough that this was clearly the worst film you have ever sent us, but it was also filled with continuity problems to boot. My colleague Crow will elucidate. Uh, a what? You'll show him. Oh, right, right, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, frame 12247. Cambot, bring that up. A pan of a field... Yet seen clearly in the back, somebody's been four wheeling. Okay, next frame, please. Uh, 216 2503. Thank you, Cambot, for giving the fact that Ator is flying a hang glider. He's doing it over a modern city. <sighs> okay, now the piece of resistance. Cambot, 202 043. Okay, during the raping and pillaging, a prehistoric caveman is clearly seen wearing a pair of Ray Bans. Who's that behind the Foster Grant? It's Og. Yeah, and what about Scarecrow's brain? Huh? What, what do you, you want, want from us? us? We're, We're evil! Evil! Yep, I guess you could say we're cut from a different cloth. Exactly, Frank. Push guess you could say we're more evil than a three-dollar bill. Push the button, Frank. Guess you could say the factory's still open, but we're making different stuff now. Would you just push the button? Push the button. Guess you could say we're buying it wholesale and... Passing the savings on to you. On the next.
next Mystery Science Theater 3000, the experiment continues with Gamera, the story of a badly misunderstood mutant lizard and the sensitive young boy he befriends. For terror with the Hallmark touch, watch Gamera, Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern on Mystery Science Theater 3000. Is ready. You are watching 